Hello, my name is uh, Mikhail Tam. I'm a Russian physicist currently living in Estonia and I'm very, very grateful for my, uh, to my Ukrainian friends for the possibility to, to express my opinion on what's going on currently. Uh, I would say, I, I think that I will express not my uh, opinion, but, but opinion of many people that we are completely shocked and horrified by, by the aggression of um, Russia, the aggression of Putin's regime in Ukraine. And frankly, it is very hard to believe uh, what is going on currently in Ukraine and, and uh, reading the news in the last two um, weeks was like living in a, some sort of a bizarre nightmare. Uh, and <clears throat> I would say that uh, naturally people and, and me personally, we are asking ourselves how this possibly could have happened. Uh, and frankly, uh, the situation, as you start thinking about it, the situation is um, actually quite simple because uh, if the scale of what's going on is astonishing and of course unexpected, the general pattern is uh, more or less clear uh, and not new. And to understand it, basically, we need to understand two most important things. One is um, that the main motivation of Putin throughout all his history in power is, was to remain and keep himself in power. It is, and it is quite understandable because it is quite obvious for everybody and including himself that if he loses power, he essentially will be lucky to spend his the rest of his time in jail because uh, he knows as well as we do uh, the, the scale of his uh, crimes starting from looting the Russian state and Russian people to killing his political opponents to to to, to initiating aggressive wars etc so it is imperative for him to pick to keep a control second uh, and related is that he's for many, many years, obsessed with Ukraine. It started as long as ago as uh, 2005, uh, 2004, when uh, Ukrainian people basically refused to accept the results of a rigged election and insisted on their uh, choice in the elections. And this uh, idea of people doing this, this sort of thing is uh, completely intolerable tolerable for Putin. And the scale of the... Uh, uh so uh, the, the 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 idea that uh, uh the so-called color revolutions is sort of an um existential threat is is cent the central idea of of uh, putin's ideology and uh, the existence, the very existence of successful democratic states uh, next to the, uh, to, uh, uh, the borders of Russia is an existential threat for Putin. And uh, uh, the pattern for, for many years was that Putin, uh, as time goes on, uh, in, inevitably loses uh, support in Russia because simply because because time is going on and people are getting fatigued by but also because of economic problems in russia and uh, he learned to compensate for this loss of popularity by two means by adventurism abroad and by oppression at home and he has essentially no other tools at his disposal and he uh, just simply ratchets up and up and up this repression and this aggression abroad. And as we see now, we might have thought that there are some limits to this escalation, but now we see that there are essentially none. And therefore, it should be crystal clear that if he prevails in Ukraine, he will not stop there. Because Ukraine is not the only... Uh, he may be obsessed with Ukraine, but it is not the only... Uh, democratic state, which is which he considers a threat, uh, which is uh, next to, to to Russian's borders, and 
because the fundamental need to reach the top uh, in order to preserve power will go nowhere, especially given that uh, the economic collapse which is happening now in Russia. Already he speaks in terms of nuclear threats, and uh, I think essentially now there is no doubt that he might try to initiate a nuclear war. Therefore, it is for all of us, it is absolutely essential that Putin loses this war. It is not just vital for the future of Ukraine, which is quite obvious, but it is uh, absolutely vital for the future of the whole free world. Not to mention the fact that clearly Russia has no future whatsoever until Putin is defeated and until Putin is removed from power. In that sense, we are, sa we are all in the same boat and it is our goal, everybody in the, in, in, in the free world, everybody who, who cares for, for the survival of, uh, of the free world needs to, must do whatever we can uh, to help Ukraine win this war. That's my opinion.